Hey guys, what's going on? Today, Apple just released iOS 12 Developer Beta 2. So we've been waiting for this day for quite a long time. It's always exciting when Apple releases the second beta of their major release that they're going to be coming out with in the fall. So there are a few you know, little changes in this update, but nothing major. Uh, there is a very long list of release notes, which I am going to show at the end of this video. But let's just go ahead right now and jump into some of the smaller UI changes that you are going to notice. So when you do pull down into Spotlight Search, there is a new icon here whenever you're gonna jump in to a suggested application. So as you see here, it says show weather in my current location. Before it would just say this with nothing on the right side. Now there's a little square with an arrow that's telling you it's gonna jump you out of this screen and take you into a different application. So it kind of just gives you a bit more uh, context of where you are that disappeared now because I clicked it. But uh, yeah, whenever it has a suggested app that it's gonna take you into, it will now give you a little icon telling you that it's gonna take you uh, into that uh, specific application. So there is a slightly new location icon that is actually kind of rounded now in Control Center. So it's kind of hard to see, but you can see here it is rounded now instead of a completely sharp uh, triangle. This looks, I think, a bit better with the iPhone 10 with the rounded corners and the notch. So instead of being really sharp, it kind of matches uh, the rest of the UI uh, inside Control Center. I did notice uh, a bit of a layering issue here in Control Center. I don't know if this is a glitch, but uh, here you can see your carrier and your reception and your Wi-Fi is higher than your battery life and your location icon. So I don't know if that's a glitch. If you have an iPhone 10, tell me if you're seeing this too. I haven't made up my mind if I like this yet, but uh, I honestly think it's just a UI glitch with some uh, you know, spacing issues because these tiles are even, but uh, the control center should also be even and I don't know why it's like that. So a little bit frustrating, but you know, it's a beta. Also in settings, there is a new uh, splash screen for screen time. So if you're in beta one and you were using screen time, you actually have to go back into settings to activate it again. So if you were using this feature, you actually have to go and enable it again. So make sure to do that. Uh, you can set up as a parent or just hit continue. And this now also works uh, via family sharing if you want to do that use as parent feature. So now it works uh, through iCloud instead of just on your phone. Uh, there are a few other small glitches and stuff uh, inside this update. Some prominent ones from the release notes that I took out are the weather widget is completely non-functional for some reason in beta 2. Uh, there are some issues with FaceTime calls. So if you're FaceTiming someone and you're on beta 2 and they're on beta 1, it will not work. And, uh, you know, just some camera effect issues in FaceTime, uh, you know, with the new emojis and stuff in FaceTime. Uh, just little glitches here and there. I am going to throw the entire list of release notes at the end of this video. Uh, so if you're experiencing something very small that was bugging you specifically, uh, you can look through those and see if Apple has fixed that. Uh, anyway, guys, that is iOS uh, 12 beta 2. So a few UI changes here and there, some glitches, and uh, a pretty long list of release notes. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. My name is Mike. I'll see you in the next one.